y'all we are back at it with another episode welcome to the source you already know who it is it's your girl jada s what's good malik hello how you doing i'm good how are you i'm good i'm good today is a is a special day for me mm-hmm. we got my friend my family my brother a real pure model straight out of vegas miles killer brew Hello. What's good, Miles? Yeah, I appreciate you guys having me. You got my jersey on. Oh, man. <laughs> I got to get a new one, man. I got to get the pit bird. Miles, now. We know, we know you a building. stiller. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we know you a stiller. Miles, oh my gosh. You know what? Y'all, so Miles bought us a um a bottle of our fave tequila. So we appreciate you. you. Yeah, Thank I you for come coming on the show. Yeah, you already, that's etiquette. You know, that's proper <laughs> etiquette. So oh, yeah. I definitely appreciate that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm I'm happy to be here, and uh, wish I could join in with you guys, but I gotta I gotta get out there in about two weeks. So that's cool. I'm understand. on this Kirkland's finest right now. Okay but. then, we understand. <laughs> no problem. Well, that's what's up, man. We're so happy to have you on the show. You're our first guest on the show, so I'm excited to have you. I know Malik's super excited to have what? you. What? Come oh, on, yeah. man. It's years in here. Come so on. tell me about your relationship. Yeah. Like, Come so on. tell me it's, about it's the relationship Ooh. between y'all two, like. Ooh. How y'all know each other? Ooh, you wanna you want yeah, to? Yeah, I mean, I'll take it. We uh, take we met at SUU. Okay. You know, we were for the people uh, that don't know, where that's Southern at? Utah University, that's Cedar City. That's okay. Like, go Thunderbirds. Stop playing with listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, we we're roommates. You know, we go we go okay. back to shoot one of our first houses, Trap House. Ah, uh, <laughs> shoot. From the bottom. Ah, uh, shoot. Started Ooh. from the bottom. And, Talk to uh, him. You know, we had we had a few roommates through okay. the years, uh, but most of us stuck together. Uh, LaShawn Sims, Rodane Deleuze. Shout out to them. Yeah, yeah. Mike, Cody, all the whole yeah, gang. That's family, family. That's family. our that's our squad, family. and so we okay. go we go back, and uh, our families are real close, mm-hmm. and um, a lot of football games, a lot of struggle, but uh, that's what's up. Hey, now that's we're here. I'm joining you talking facts. talking on uh, the crazy. source. Facts. Full facts. circle, huh? Yeah, facts. that's crazy. Cool. Was Malika messy roommate? No, actually, he was clean. He was he clean. He was a clean roommate. Yeah. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> That's crazy. He was he was clean. That's you know, crazy. as clean as we could be in the in the mess that we live. Yeah, you know, eighteen to twenty four. Man, <laughs> man, come on now. Okay, was Miles arresting you? Right? Oh no, okay. not at all. Uh, wasn't? Clean list is next to godliness, man. He's a he's a god fearing man. So nah, absolutely, that's, 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 that's my guy. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's my guy. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, well, exactly. we super happy to have you on the show. Yeah, you know, so. I wanted to just talk to you about your journey. Like you, you went from Utah to Detroit to Vegas, yep. to Pittsburgh. You know, just tell us a little bit about, about your journey. What you do? Sure. Uh, well, out of Vegas, I uh, I wanted to be an engineer, mm-hmm. and so I didn't even really. I, I loved football, still do, but my plan was to be an engineer. So that's what I was looking at for school. And okay. uh, Southern Utah came, gave me a scholarship offer, and we. Shoot, I saw you up there. We were doing visits, checking it out, and okay. I ended up going to SUU. Uh, got my degree there, mm-hmm. and then uh, towards the end of you know my my journey there, I got ended up getting picked up by Detroit. That's so I went out up. to Detroit, spent the last five years in in the D, and uh, for better or worse, you know we had some tough years, had some good years, but had some tough years, and now I'm getting picked up going to Pittsburgh. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. We on we on year six, y'all. Yeah, I'm year old. Six. I'm old. Year six. They didn't even wow. card me when I went to go get that. They didn't even card me. I'm, I'm getting old. And you still ain't got a beard. I still don't. <laughs> look, see, okay. For a second there, Dang. I had a mustache. I had, look, I had Dang. to stand. But my lady, my lady said, yeah, she, she, didn't, she said it had to go. I was she like, you don't understand. It's been 25, 26 years, but... If your lady tell you, you to gotta cut do it, it off, then you gotta do it. it gotta you gotta go. trim it down. I trimmed it down. I didn't, you know. It gotta go. That's what's up. So what was Detroit like for you? I mean, you came from Vegas and then you went to Utah. So what was Detroit, what was like, Detroit for you? like? Yeah, like just um, being in the city of Detroit. A lot of Shout history. A lot of history. You know, mm-hmm. the people were, are great. The the Ford family was welcoming. Mm-hmm. Um, met a lot of great people there. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, it uh, as far as football goes. You know, we didn't win a lot of games the last three years. That was tough. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Like that's, mm-hmm. that's not fun to mm-hmm. be in a program where you're losing. And so, um, but the people were cool. It was a good city, good vibe. I mean, a lot of history out here. It's a little different in Vegas because when a building gets too old, we just kind of blow it up. That's just how it is. You just blow <laughs> it up, build to, something new, they, move they're on. Trying to gentrify hey. everything, huh? Out there, it's just a little. You know, it's a little different. Yeah. You, you see buildings that have been there since I don't even know what. 
For sure. A lot of culture. A lot of culture. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, that's just how, you know, Midwest is. I mean, I know y'all can't relate, but that's how that's how Midwest culture is. I mean, we're very historic. We're very... <laughs> What's this hater over here, I can't never just wrap my city Where's she from? Where? What is this? She's from Cleveland. Cleveland. Cle- Cleveland. <laughs> Cle- <laughs> Ohio. Right. Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, okay. So Detroit is not too far from me. So that's why I wanted to ask you about Detroit because, you know, yeah, so. I didn't been a few times. Yeah, I, I bet. Coming from Cleveland. Yeah. It's a- <laughs> you got to get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get out of there. Come on now. Forget y'all because no, I'm cool, not. Cool. I'm not with the Cleveland slander. I feel like every episode is just more and more Cleveland slander. Like, I just don't get it. I told you we love Cleveland now. We got a Vegas native on the team. Yes. Come on, now we got that's a Vegas right. native that's on right. the team. Yeah, it just got picked up. Huh? Yeah, that's a good time, man. Good time. That's a good time? I For guess. Sure. For sure. I guess. So, y'all was on the official visit together? Unofficial visit? Where y'all seen each other? Like, where I first met? Yeah, I mean, we shoot. There's only so many guys coming in from <laughs> coming in from out of state, you know. So mm-hmm. you all got to hang out. I mean, the out of state guys, we had stuff in common, right? You know, and so uh, yeah, we hit it off. Okay. Quickly, so. so tell me about the official visit because my, um, I guess, opinion or I guess a misconception about official visits is that. They basically want you to come there and and be and be out there. Like they want you to be outside. Is that true? Is that a misconception about official visits? Let me know. Do you want, do you want this one? You I mean, <laughs> they want you to come out there and be outside and look at some girls that's on campus. Like, is that true or what? I need. To, I want to know. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Uh, especially going on on that visit. I mean, it wasn't too much to, <laughs> to see. I mean, see, shout out to Cedar. I mean, y'all growing. I love it. Like, but it wasn't too much to see out there. They, 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 as far as girls, as far as everything, our mall was uh, was Walmart. <laughs> hey, y'all, let's go to Walmart. <laughs> We're gonna find something there. <laughs> that's, okay. Well, that's what's up. Yeah. That is. I mean, if your question is, do schools want to try to woo players to go? Oh, absolutely. A hundred percent. Is there stuff that goes on that maybe nobody's ever gonna talk about? Maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But again, we went to SUU, so really small scale, you know, mm-hmm. we weren't SEC. Right. You know, so there's a lot of stuff we don't know. That's facts. But yeah, talk talk about getting it out the mud though, man. Yeah. Coming from a, a small school in Vegas, going to a small D one double A and then being on your year six, bro. Like, year six. Bro. Year six. I'm so proud, bro. You don't understand. That's look, I didn't understand when the guys like when I first got there and, and you would have people come to talk to you like as a as a young player mm-hmm. they would say enjoy your time now in college because when you get to the league it's it's business mm-hmm. like it's just everything's business and that's the truth so sure. that's I mean I just had to approach it like that you know professional sports is different than college sports um, and you just got to be you got to do everything you can to make sure you stay it's crazy <laughs> it, yeah. you know what it's crazy that you said that you said College sports versus, you know, professional sports. So, I want to get your opinion. Should collegiate athletes get paid? I mean, that's been an ongoing debate for years now. <laughs> so, I want to I wanna get your take on that. Uh, my short answer, no. I don't, oh. I don't think so. Okay. That's my Malik short a little, answer. Malik look a little surprised. Uh-huh. I know, and that's saying a lot. Come, <laughs> that's saying a coming lot. Coming from where we was at, too. <laughs> that's saying a lot. I know. Coming from where we was at, too. You've been on both sides. You've been on both sides. So I want to know. I want to know why. Why not? Why not talk to well, us? Well, <laughs> one of the major, like, opinions of people, like, that say collegiate athletes should be paid is because – there's so much money behind college football, and I get that. Like, I – trust me, I understand. I know we went to SU, and, you know, so I have to qualify <laughs> my statements because that's my experience. But mm-hmm. those the top ten biggest stadiums in the world – in the U.S. are college stadiums. Like, I – there's there's kids out there playing in front of crowds that I won't even experience in the NFL. Wow. So that's there's great. a lot of money around it, and I get that. I understand, you know, that people are – making a lot of money off the backs of these athletes. But for me, I saw football as a way to pay for college. You know, okay. like, so I get to graduate with my degree mm. debt-free. I know mm-hmm. a lot of doctors and lawyers who wish they were debt-free. Yeah, and yeah, at the end of that, 
at the end of that, I get to throw my hat in the ring to win the lottery? Because, I mean, if you talk about the statistically, that's that's the chance to get in the NFL, that's, that's a lottery. And right. so mm-hmm. those three things, I figured that was a fair trade. Now, mm-hmm. I did a little, you know, I, I've had this conversation a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a college professor, I think, in uh, Ohio, Rid, Ridpath maybe, I think that was his name. He brought up the point that in America, this is the only place where amateur sports is tied with education Mm. so i agree with that article i think it was like in the britannic or whatever but that there should be a defining line like there should be amateur sports outside of education because there are kids who you know they come from struggling families you know maybe they don't have that structure maybe they're they don't necessarily want the education Mm-hmm. tied to and they want to make money and they should have the right to be able to do that so i think we need like an amateur sports feeder away from separate from education because mm-hmm. money is money at the end of the day you know that's like going to work at chick-fil-a and they pay you in chick-fil-a coupons that mm-hmm. might be cool for some people but right. some people want money right right, right. and right. maybe they don't want the education so they should be able to you know there should be something for them to go and do that that's my opinion but okay they do go pro fast out in other countries for sure so you're absolutely right <laughs> So just the time, like just being a student and an athlete at the same time. Being a student athlete, that's very, that's very demanding. So just the time and all of that. So is it hard to keep up with your studies and you know be athlete at the same time? What? And y'all was getting y'all homework done for y'all? What? Oh, what? No, you got to young. Ah, oh, come on now. We y'all was getting your homework done for y'all. She we, doesn't understand where we went. That's what me? it is. She thinks we, we was went bought to a her. book. <laughs> bought a book. So y'all did y'all homework. One to nine. What? Did we? <laughs> Come on, we ain't, no, we ain't no fools now. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, we had to do that for sure. That's crazy. That's what's up. I mean, That's crazy. That's a different opinion because, I I mean, it makes sense when you say it, when you tie in the debt-free paying for college, you know, that yes. that's huge because, you know, shit, I, them scholarships. I got to disagree, though. I got I to gotta agree to disagree. I want to know why. For sure. I, I, feel, I feel like uh, college students to be uh, – Definitely paid. I mean, where we was at, <laughs> well, we got it out the mud for real. We was struggling, <laughs> mm-hmm. struggling. Had we got to call our mama for money, like for real. It was it was pretty yeah. bad, mm-hmm. and we ain't had the time to give to have a job. Like mm-hmm. our job was football, but we was not getting paid for it. <laughs> That's true. Facts. We was not getting paid for it. That's facts. They well, was paying school, but they wasn't paying us. So well, outside of outside of that, oh, it was a struggle. Well, just think about the math at the end of the day. School versus <laughs> Four years or however many years of food, partying, the shit you need to spend money on in college versus the amount that college actually costs, I think it kind of, I think it balances. So but, I think. But what about the students that got um, scholarships for, for their grades, but they got time to get extra money? Mm-hmm. Like it's full rides out there without, without uh, sports mm-hmm. and they got time That's to true. get extra money. That's academic scholarship. Well, shit, I don't know, because they be studying all the time. And we were, oh, man. I, they be studying. Uh, I guess we couldn't study either. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we couldn't study either. I was lazy in college, okay. so, like, I I couldn't only imagine. I mean, shit, I was student athlete in high school, but in college, like, I just couldn't imagine. I commend y'all, honestly, for being student athletes in college because I was trying to kick it. Don't get me wrong. I was super involved. I did my thing. <laughs> you know, I'm in a sorority too, by the way. So I had time to do what the fuck I wanted to do. But at the same time, I could definitely see how that would be a very demanding job. It's tough. It, it's a lot. It helps to hang out with other athletes, mm-hmm. you know. But I, I still feel like if there was a, if there was a situation where at, young athletes can choose between going to school or pursuing their professional career, mm-hmm. I think that that should exist. I think you should be able to be paid, especially when you start, you know, bringing in injuries. Because that's, right. that's four years of injuries that's and you're not getting game. paid. That's and if you had the opportunity to say, okay, school or pursuing some kind of feeder like baseball, you know, minor leagues, mm-hmm. if, if I could pursue that for football, I know a lot of people that would, you know, and mm-hmm. schools probably wouldn't want to hear that. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't want to hear that, but. <laughs> Education isn't important to everybody. So that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's, just, that's just a fact. Yeah. Education that's ain't true. important to everybody. Right. So, people. so if you had the option to go that route to to play football and the education be 
completely separate. Like you're talking you know, about me. Yeah, if you oh, had I'll, that option, if I knew, ago, I'm doing this again. <laughs> I'm doing, I mean, I got the I got the degree and I'm like, hey, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it worked for me, but I wanted the I wanted the education first. If, if if it came down to football or the degree, mm-hmm. I mean, shoot, I didn't think I was going to NFL coming out of Vegas, going mm-hmm. to SUU. I mean, that's just right. the fact. I didn't. You beat the odds, and I respect and, that. And that's the thing is like our household that. was unique though, mm-hmm. because every single one of us ended up either getting the chance or going to pursue what we wanted to pursue after after school. That's mm-hmm. just the truth. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going out to Pittsburgh, and our other room, roommate, Rodane Deleuze, he's our physical athletic trainer. He's in the strength staff. Wow. Dang, dang. Shouts out to Shouts you. Shouts out to Dane. <laughs> so, I real mean, he's, he's there, too. That's crazy. And so, it's uh, JT had a stint with us in the Lions. He bounced around from team to team, hey, played, some team played some uh, ball, and hey. LaShawn was with uh, – he went to the Titans first before he went out to Cincinnati. Hey, hey. So, you're, you're neck of the woods. You already had that's Thank the same you. Thing, right? Thank you for just acknowledging, you know, my state. Because you ain't not about to but my state. So, you put in academics over athletics. Yeah. And tell me, the, tell me about the importance of that. Because I think that's so important because I think in sports, you really, you're really taking a risk. Because like you said, shit, you can get hurt. You cannot get played. Like, it's a lot of different Politics. factors. Yeah, yes. There's a lot. Politics, you know, that can hold you back athletically being in collegiate sports so just tell us about the importance of putting those academics first to anybody that's watching us oh just to tell the kids go to school yeah school's more important because Mm -hmm. i mean shoot at the end of the day they can't take your education from you you know at the end Mm -hmm. of the day you're gonna have you're gonna have what you were taught so wisdom knowledge is power get get knowledge get understanding 100 percent. for sure i could definitely appreciate that so who are some people that you have looked up to along the way you know just other than throughout your journey you looked up to him <laughs> other than malik <laughs> you looked up to him oh of course look i was just talking to my pops man. about this the malik is one guy who he's gonna be good like no matter what right no matter I what know why i want to know why you say that you you've been sitting here what is this the fifth episode i have you've been around him i mean he's a he's a go-getter he's a smart he's a smart guy he's uh he's gonna find a way you know, it doesn't matter how the economy's doing. It doesn't matter <laughs> what day of the week it is. Oh, the, your support <laughs> staff over here loves you too. But but no, honestly, like he's a good like, dude. Um, people I've looked up to, obviously my father, my mother. Mm-hmm. You know, starts at home. Right. Um, I'm sure you, you guys can agree. Absolutely. Uh, I've had great coaches, Coach Lamb, Coach uh, Warren. Excellent coaches. Even I'll even say Coach Redman back in high school. He was my <laughs> he put me through some stuff, but he was, hey, he was a good coach. Now. He was a good you're coach. Here. Yeah. Come and now obviously here. league coaches are, are great. But um but before the league it was you know, that was important. I've had great teachers and stuff like that. That's what's up. Yeah, Mentorship is everything. Seek mentors, seek people that can help you along your journey because that's gonna that's gonna take you places. Yeah. So I can definitely also, appreciate that. Not only role models but peer models, man. For real. Oh, Get for you a sure. team that's going to that's gonna push you. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. I can definitely appreciate that. So, on the source, right, we dive into a lot of music and entertainment. So, I want to know, how has hip-hop impacted professional sports? Like, just in the locker room with wardrobe, anything like that. How have you seen the hip-hop industry impact your industry? What they what they say? We want to be rappers, and rappers want to be us. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't tell you how many guys I met trying to rap in the locker rooms. It's so funny. It's the it's the funniest thing. Oh my god. They gosh. be freestyling. Oh, all the time, all the can time. Can you freestyle? Heck no. I can. I was an engineer, I baby. I was. <laughs> I know rapper. I, <laughs> I tell you, the Pythagorean theorem. Hey. <laughs> Talk to him. But you don't even use that. But you don't even use that. Talk to him. I don't. I don't. I don't. don't. But no, it's, uh, you know, it's always going to be a relationship there between, Mm -hmm. you know, it's entertainment. Facts. Actually, a lot of us have the same agents. Mm. You know, it's a lot. It's, it's, there's always going to be a relationship there. And now you got, you know, TikTok and all that. Everybody wants, who doesn't want little kids doing their dance, their touchdown dance? That's probably the number one question I get. Mm -hmm. I'm on defense. (laughs) <laughs> little kids asking what's my touchdown dance I'm like look if I'm in the end zone enough to get a touchdown hey. dance then shoot but you have to make one up it Dude. don't matter if you're a lineman 
You do. You got to have a touchdown dance because they all want to do the little TikTok dances. So mm, That's crazy. Yeah. I never really put those two things together. Um, I'm trying to think of some touchdown. I like Odell. Like I like his touchdown <laughs> dances. Like... <laughs> <laughs> that be I be liking that. Hey. I like touchdown. Like I like any moment you can have a celebratory moment on the field. I think that's dope, and people can. I feel like that's how people connect with you, right? For sure. 100%. But Malik had some great hey, touchdown dances. But speaking <laughs> of wardrobes, I remember. Hey, we was in college. People. Hey, we. Was, I'm telling you, this is a real story. Check this out. So we was talking about shorts. I mean, shorts and shirts. Like, man, I'll never spend fifty dollars on those shirt. Man, I'll never spend seventy dollars on those shirt. You here now? So, yeah. what's the most? I remember that conversation. We you were in the cafeteria. <laughs> said fifty dollars for 50 a shirt. Dollars. <laughs> what? That ain't nothing. What? The things we could buy at Walmart for fifty dollars? Facts. Facts. But what's the most expensive? Oh yeah, thing that's out the. That was out the. I know. I know that. that, that I, that was, I know that was done uh, year two, year but one. That's, but that's the perspective. That's crazy. Right. And I'm still. You know, if you're talking about paychecks, I'm still kind of at the bottom of the totem pole, right? Like, I'm special teams guy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, still situational, drilling. Situational guy. <laughs> but, um, that's going to, yeah, no one's rapping for the show, but <laughs> right. not no, this year. no one's doing that. <laughs> we want to feel. But here's the on. thing, Luke, at, when, in that locker room, it still is happening. You still have those conversations like, man, I wouldn't spend, you know, $2,000 on that. Thanks. Right, but then you see guys on the other end of the locker room yeah. making your whole year salary in one game, and you're like, man, to them though, that ain't shit. they can they don't care, My you home. know, they can throw that away, and so it never ends, and that's the scary thing. I want to know the price of what I want to know the price of the most expensive thing that you bought since you've been in the league. Clothing, as clothing far as clothes, wise. clothing, clothing wise. wise, it was all in my first year before I really understood. Right, so that you was ate, like so three hundred dollar pair of jeans. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? What brand was it? It was it was a pair of true religions, I remember. <laughs> Cause that was my first pair of expensive jeans. We're talking yeah. about fifty dollars. I, I said, Oh, I got some true. I I will never forget this. I, I put them on, they just fit like a glove. Like, oh my gosh. Them true do fit nice. Like I never had worn jeans in my life, right? <laughs> so funny. I go on an airplane, mm-hmm. the flight attendant accidentally spills some coke on my jeans. I'm like, oh, oh my, my brand new true I just got these. <laughs> I just got these. I'm like, before I can even ask for a napkin, mm-hmm. it had absorbed into the jeans and the, there was no stain. Mm. <laughs> oh, so, so there was nothing. So I, that's what happened. Shit. There was nothing. I looked down. I said, hold on. Never mind. I don't need a napkin. <laughs> I said, this is what it's like <laughs> to, have, to have real thousand count that is yeah. it's quality. It's quality. But, but that's the thing. I learned a valuable lesson that day. Mm-hmm. Now I can never go back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because right. I, I've been exposed. Right. Been and exposed. so that was a humbling time for me. And so now my wife, she still gets on me, you know, like you don't like I'm not a big shopper. Like mm-hmm. I don't like shopping for clothes because once you cross certain thresholds, you mm-hmm. can't go back. There's certain guys I know can't wear. If it's a belt, it better have Gucci, Louis, something on it. Because if it doesn't, <laughs> I'm not putting it on my waist. Damn. <laughs> And that, like that. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with looking good. That's, that's not. Nice. That's nice. not my point. That's mm-hmm. not the point I'm trying to make. I'm just saying that it's a slippery road if you have to have the best of everything at all times. I learned from Malik actually. <laughs> Look, this is a true story. I Let learned from know. Malik back in college. All you need is just a couple of accessories. You know, real. You need a. If you have one you real watch or a real chain or real, the shoes are real. Other things don't have to be real or top quality. And people won't know. They, they'll, they'll see the real thing and be like, oh, everything else must be real. I can't tell you how many people have complimented a shirt from H&M just because I got, you know, whatever nice. else on. Nice. They don't yeah. know. They Accessories don't, wow. are so important. Must be designer. Accessories are so important. But you're just, so wearing, it like but you're just wearing it like it's designer. Come on, man. It's designer when you put it Look, on. Listen to them. Come on. Listen to them. That's true. That's true. Same. It's not all of I think that. People get so caught up in design, the name. You know what I'm saying? You make it design. Yeah, for sure. I think people get so caught up in the name that, you know, they don't understand that it's really the quality that you're buying. It's the quality that you're purchasing. I can appreciate some great quality. Yeah. Right? I feel right. like we can all. Life is short. Life get, is short. Experience some great quality. If you want to get it. <laughs> just just, just don't money. lose your just don't lose yourself in it. 
Yeah. You can. It's super easy to do that. It's easy to do that. Right. Mm-hmm. Don't easy. get lost in the sauce. Uh, <laughs> Come it's on. so Come easy don't. to do that in every freaking way as well. But that's what's up, though. So what advice would you give to any younger athletes, you know, that are trying to just kind of make it in this in this industry? Uh, find your find your identity. Find out what you want your identity to be. That's what I would say. Mm-hmm. If your identity is wrapped up in what you do, that's probably not a good identity. You that's know, right. if I'm Miles Killebrew, just the football player, as soon as you take away football, what am I? Who knows? That's right. Right. Now I don't know. Now I got identity issues. Now I'm sad. Now I'm depressed. Mm-hmm. Like that's real. I've seen it a lot. And so I would tie your identity to something that's lasting, mm-hmm. to something that you're proud of, to something that people can't take away. That's you know, thanks. Thanks. So you train. So you train. <laughs> train. I'm assuming like in the off season. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So what's like your gym routine? We were just talking about this. I'll be need. I need. I need some more workouts. So, okay. so what's you, a good you gym look, routine? You want to look like that? You don't want to look like <laughs> you, 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 you don't okay. look like this. I be okay. in a gym. <laughs> okay. I be in a gym. So, you know, okay. I be needing I, like I be needing some right gym. I, I be needing some gym routine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's my guy. I don't know you want to look like that, but tell <laughs> it. But he, I need he, some workouts. He, he got you. Look, I do I don't do anything crazy. I'm not yeah. I don't, uh, nothing out of the way. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I'm in the sand, Sunset Park, shout out. <laughs> he wants us to hire. <laughs> I mean, the same, stuff, the same stuff I was doing in college. <laughs> Look, sand workouts uh-huh. and Ooh, body weight, body workout. weight stuff, body weight squats, all the stuff you can do, that's what I do. So do you do more cardio or more lifting? Right now, cardio, because I'm being... Safety, I guess, in Pittsburgh. So I gotta, Ooh. I gotta be running so you around. To run. I gotta be running around. Wow. So I gotta do some change of direction. I be having my wife out there. Shout out her. Shout out to workout partner. Appreciate you. Hello. Shout out to her. Yeah. Hey man, but uh, it's year six. Like, what's still motivating you? Like, what, what is still making you do what you do? Like, oh, I got a kid now. I got, Ooh. I got a wife. I got a kid. I got a house with a dog. A hello. Oh. Praise Jesus. Hello. Okay. Hey, hello. And you got a How birthday old? coming up too. And I got a birthday. <laughs> Sheesh. I wasn't here for your birthday, man. I wasn't. Was hey, come on, man. Hey, I wasn't on, here Jack. yet. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, it's coming up. We're getting old. We getting are. Up there. BC getting alternative. Up there. We're getting up. We're getting up. <laughs> mm. We're fucking getting up. Mm. That's what's up, though. I yeah. definitely can appreciate that. Yeah, that's it amazing. Helps. It helps. Literally putting, you know, food on the table. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's right. what's up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting old. So what kind of dog? What kind of dog you got? A little you you golden a doodle, golden doodle with the white chest, apricot, Aww. golden doodle. I had to go down to Arizona to get him. Wow. The wife. <laughs> it was. Look, oh wow. But so best, y'all travel. It was to the best it. decision. Yeah. Oh, no, that's cool. Yeah. So do a, you feel like some fulfillment when you walk into the house and the dog just comes? Oh yeah. Comes running. <laughs> you want you want people to be there, people or animals to be there, excited for when you open the door. <laughs> that's the best feeling. I heard that's good for like dep- I think that's why a lot of people that are depressed or you know they go through like anxiety or something. That's why they get pets because they feel that feeling when they walk in the door and there's someone excited to see them. That's what we did in college, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what y'all did? Y'all had a dog. <laughs> We had a cat. Her name was Nala. <laughs> Nala, shout out to you. Rest your soul. Where is real. she now? She passed away? She passed away. <gasps> How? I think Miles will want to take care of this, this question. <laughs> Miles, what happened to Nala? <laughs> what happened to Nala? Did she get ran over? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so she just ran away? So she just ran away and she just wasn't there anymore? Hey! Oh, hey, Nala, we hey. love you. We love you. Hey, but I need to get another jersey. I got a, a Detroit jersey. I need a Pittsburgh. Yeah, we got to get you hey, hooked up, man. How does it feel being in Pittsburgh with a Super Bowl winning team? Not only a Super Bowl winning team, but a Super Bowl black coach. Mm. Yeah. Like, how, how does that feel? Like, what? So, my first uh, <clears throat> my first coach in the league was uh, Coach Caldwell. Mm-hmm. And he was, he, was a, he was a black coach, and it's just uh, – you know, it's it's 
very similar in the sense that you know just it's just a little bit more relatable i know it sounds sounds bad you know it's no, you don't it's, no. there's definitely more qualifying things behind it but yeah so far i love it i love it up there you know it's it's uh everyone i've met is just great they're just have that winning culture you exactly. know you can't I'm can't excited. really beat it I'm can't really beat it. Yeah. it was one of those things where it's just like they say congratulations welcome you made it mm. you know and it was just like yeah i guess so i guess we made it is practice fine do you enjoy practice i will i'll let you know i'll have to get back to you on that because we don't <laughs> but just so. in general in Pit- well in pittsburgh i don't know Listen, well, when you was in Detroit, when you was in Utah, is the grind it's fun? Yes, is the grind, is the is journey. It it's all about the journey, and, and I talk about is that it? all the time. Absolutely. I seen this tweet the other day. <laughs> I seen this tweet the other day um, from Damson Andrews, or whatever. Okay. Uh, Shout out to him. It said, "The journey, as long as you're on the journey, then you already won." Mm. <laughs> So you get on a bus, you don't care where it takes you. You say, I'm going. Yeah, because when you get there, because if you're trusting, then, you know, when you get to your destination, then you feel fulfilled. So what's practice like? Okay. Shout out to AI because we are here talking about practice. (laughs) (laughs) We are here talking about practice, not the game. What's practice like? No, I mean, you're right, though. They say the games are won in practice. So you uh, got to learn to enjoy the, the moments the other people hate. Okay. And yeah. The more you can do that, I guess the better you'll be. For sure. Um, okay. So, so tell me what you think about this statement. Okay. Because when I was an athlete, my coaches always say you practice how you play. Do you do you agree with that? Do you practice how you play? I think it's the opposite. I think you play how you practice. Explain. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, you can't really. There, there. I've met maybe a handful of guys who can just turn it on in the game, and it's completely different than what they've been doing all week. Mm. A handful. <laughs> <laughs> there are some just absolute freaks out there that they, it doesn't matter what they do during the week. Mm. What you're going to see on Sunday is different, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But for a majority, like everybody else, yeah, you have to have at least some moments in practice that are exactly what you expect to be on Sunday. Otherwise. Mm-hmm. Like it, you're gonna play exactly how you've been practicing that week. Mm-hmm. So consistency so, is everything. That's so true. It's everything. Come on. You practice you how you 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 play how you practice. I like that, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I can't believe. I, really, I didn't look at it that way. <laughs> I did it. Right. I like that, Miles. Right. I can't even lie. But you know what, Miles? We really appreciate you for coming on the oh, show. Of course, yeah, thanks. You guys. know, My it's been God. a great, yeah, it's been a great episode. Thank you for just you know coming on here and tell us about the journey, and you know just what you've been through and just your career and your brand. You know, we support you over here on the source. I know Malik do because you know y'all got. Well, that I history. support you guys too. Is that too? a question? Look, Come on, he here. One of those followers. You can look. You can see. I'm, I'm one of those viewers. So <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Look. <laughs> We can definitely oh, appreciate that. That's you know, favorite. I want to take the time out real quick. So by the time y'all see this, Mother's Day um, is going to pass. Um, it's tomorrow. I want to say shout out to all the mothers out there. Mm. Mommy, I know you listening. I love you. Thank you for everything that you do. You're my rock. You're my heart. You're the apple of my eye. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day. And uh, let me let me talk to my mama real quick. There okay. you go. Shout her out. Hey, mama. <laughs> no, nah, real talk, I appreciate you mm-hmm. through the ups and downs. I love you. Um, you've been there since 0.00. Seconds was on the clock. <laughs> you've been here ever since. So, happy Mother's Day. I love you. I'm and next. Mom? Yes, you are. My mother, mom, I love you. Thank you for everything. You, you support me then. You support me now. And uh, to my to my wife. This is your first hello. Mother's Day. So, oh, hello. Yeah, so happy Mother's Day to happy you. Happy first Mother's Day. And, that's uh, exciting. Yeah, that's it. I'm telling you right now. That little, ooh, little baby girl. Ooh. ooh something different. So. Heart melter. How was your reaction? Like, when you found out? When I found out it was going to be a girl? Or when I found <laughs> out? When you, found, when you found out that you had Both. a kid? Both. Both. On the way. Both. I was, I was very excited um, mm-hmm. when I found out she was pregnant. Yeah. So excited. You know, I was probably I think my excitement was more of a comfort for her 
mm-hmm. you know so she was just like okay good you're excited i'm excited Yo, like it's a safe time that's all it takes. right um and then when i found out it was a baby girl i was really excited because i was expecting a boy you know mm-hmm. and so the fact that it was a little baby girl i was i was really excited because i don't you know i don't know anything about you yeah know, uh, none of our friends really like have kids so i was just like well Oh, hey, this is gonna be something. This is gonna be something different. Hey, it was was so funny. Wow, when we were in school, they was like, "Hey, Leek, you gonna be the first one? <laughs> you gonna have one?" <laughs> well, look at now. <laughs> Congratulations, my brother. I definitely, thought I, was, I definitely thought I was gonna be last. I definitely <laughs> thought I was gonna be last. I think every friend thought, group, every yeah, friend group yeah. does that. Like that's they funny. try to call the first person that's gonna have a kid, and it's always that's like the funny. one who you least expect that has a kid. First. I thought it was gonna be Lashawn first. That's, man, that's crazy. <laughs> I, whoa, he still. Hey, we waiting. <laughs> we waiting, Lashawn, young Swiss. We waiting for real. <laughs> that's hilarious. Real. That's but crazy. y'all, it's been a man. good time. We on the source. Make sure y'all tune in every Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, 10 p.m. Eastern. Y'all know we on the source every week. Shout out to Prince. Oh, I'm so sorry. Shout out to Prince Hakeem 702 for the hat. Make sure y'all tap in with my dog and get y'all and get y'all the hat. You know, we rep in Vegas and this is almost at the B word. Oh. Rep in Vegas in this thing. Shout out to 702 for um, becoming my home. Good so job, shout out to job. Prince Hakeem 702. Make sure y'all tap in him on IG and hit him up. But it's been the source. Thank you, Miles, for pulling up on us today. It's been a pleasure. Oh yeah. You already know how it go on the source, and that's it. Thanks. It's love. It's love. Yes, sir. Hey. hey.